Hello, Hawkington Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Michael Hyman. We got lots of great content today, and I am happy to say that we are starting off with a middle school update. Welcome back to the show, Mr. Keller. Thank you. It's nice to be back. I'm joined today by Sasha Foman. Sasha, as you may know, is the school's representative for the National Geography Bee, and we le re learned recently that Sasha is a semifinalist competing on March 31st, I believe? Yeah. So, um, Sasha, uh, tell me a little bit about um, your interest in geography and how that all started. Well, I would say in the, in the recent years, I, uh, I haven't taken too much of an interest, but more recently I took an interest to it. But I would say it probably started when I was about five years old. I got, um, I got this interactive globe, and it kind of ignited my interest in that. So it was dormant for a while, but... I guess you could say I, I got interested again. So. All right, good. And so uh, beyond the globe, has there been any uh, inspiration that has uh, really kind of sparked your interest in studying geography? Um, I don't know. It's just, I guess it, it helps to just be simply more aware of the world. Have you traveled much? Yeah, I've, I've traveled um, mostly in Europe. I've, I've been to a few countries, such as like uh, been to Russia several times, Finland, France, uh, Monaco, I guess you could count that. Well, Sasha, thanks for joining us, and best of luck on March 31st. Yep, thank and you thank you for much. representing Hamilton Middle School. Much. Yep. That's really awesome, and everyone wishes you the best luck, Sasha. Next up, we have a fun announcement about the new culture club at HMS. Hey, what is this tree for? Um, it represents my faith, and many people in the area uh, exchange gifts for it. Ah, oh, son of a nutcracker. My holiday was last week. I could have decorated too. Is this the offending Christmas tree? I'm from the Sappy Sapling Sacking Services, and I was tasked with ruining this tree. Wait, what? Why? You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Wait, does that mean I won't be able to display my menorah? What about Su Chen's New Year's decorations? This isn't fair. I don't care about fair. I care about offending. Why can't we just keep it and show respect for all? And what happened then? Well, in Hopkinton, they say that the Sappy Sapling Sacking services shrunk three sizes that day, and a club was created to all honor all in a kind way. If you would like to keep sappy sapping, sapling sacking services at bay, join our club and share your ways. We need all faiths and cultures, that's true, but most importantly, we just need you. To learn more about, cult, about the culture club, please sign up in the guidance office. You will receive an email with meeting times and dates. That was a Warby Club, so consider giving it a chance. Now we have the third sentence in our series and called Hello, Hawkington Middle School. Quick comments from high schoolers with what we have to look forward to. Don't worry if your friend groups change. Friends change all the time. It's a lot less clicky in high school. Join clubs and sports to make new friends. Always be nice because you never know how much of an impact you can have on other people. That sounds nice. All right, let's go have a minute with a teacher. For today, we interview Mrs. McDonald. I teach digital literacy because I love technology, but I also love reading and writing, and digital literacy kind of combines all three things. The reason I became a teacher is because I've always loved learning. I love being a student, and I also really enjoy working with young people. My favorite part of teaching is being with my students every day. Um, they make me laugh every day, and I just enjoy spending time with them. So in my free time, my hobbies are reading and writing. I also like to exercise and uh, try new restaurants, and I'm trying to learn how to cook, although I'm not very good at it yet. My favorite TV show is The Office, and my favorite musician is Beyonce. If I could add one thing to the school, it would be a coffee cart in the lobby for Mrs. Place. Thanks for chatting with us, Mrs. McDonald. Let's have another minute with a student, this time with Nina. My name is Nina Underdaw, and I am in grade eight. <laughs> and three of my friends are Megan Murchie, Vani Sharma, and Sophie Kaplan. I am involved in Yearbook Club. The most favorite school project I've worked on is my Instagram dynamic media project. Right now, my passion in life is shopping. If I could change one thing in school, I would make lunch longer. Something I am good at is uh, shopping, <laughs> and I like doing it because it's fun. 
Something meaningful that someone has done for me is uh, say hi to me in the hallway. When I'm bored, I watch Netflix. My favorite movie is Pitch Perfect because it's funny. All right, for our last set net today, we once again visit the great Mr. Rockwood. Good morning and welcome to another Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that next Tuesday, March 14th, is National Pie Day? That's right. In 2009, Congress declared March 14th National Pie Day in recognition of pie, a mathematical concept and number that never ends. Pie is often rounded up to 3.14. Interestingly enough, March 14th is also the birthday of Albert Einstein. He was born in 1879. Now here's Snea with another puzzle for you to solve. How many common words of four letters can you make from the letters in the word vernal? You may only use each letter once. Have a good day and be kind to one another. And finally, we bring you Have You Seen This? We got three winners this week. Congratulations. Stop by the HMS TV studio next Wednesday after school to claim your prize. Here's today's image. You have till next Wednesday to find it. Check us out online for our videos and email it us to at hmstv at hillers.org. On behalf of everyone here, get out there and study hard. <laughs>